Hello everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Tyler. This is going to be a video that's going to stir up a major hornet's nest and there are going to be some out there that are going to respectfully disagree with me. I am fine by that. But however, there are a lot of people who are watching this video that can strongly relate to from what I am fixed to get ready to say. For those who are out there, a lot of you made a decision not to speak and also it went so far enough you have distanced yourself from that particular person or those group of people all because probably this person did something majorly wrong to cross the line and it was extremely disrespectful and wrong up into your eyes. Uh, this person kept on doing wrong to you and you continue to put up with it and you said to yourself, no more. I'm not putting up with this mess. And you finally set a boundary. And then it's for others you had distance yourself because these are the same people who cause major drama, unnecessary stuff, for no legitimate reason. Or it could have been something this particular person said, and, and it was extremely out of order and out of line. And you're like, no, you're not going to talk to me like that. And sometimes... They probably have did it more than one time, have majorly disrespected you on levels based on what he or she has said. And some people will say, that person didn't really mean it or whatever, that it meant somebody. No, disrespect is disrespect. Crossing the line is crossing the line, is what I'm saying. But, and then, however, Overall, either if it's a group of people or that same person, they're too damn prideful to recognize their own wrongdoing and to come and to make it right with you. But you yourself is ready to make the situation right until that person realize it. But other than that, you made up your mind. I'm no more going to be around this particular person. I'm no more going to give my energy to this particular individual. You know the reason why? It's because that person has crossed the line. This person has overextended their boundaries. This person is a waste of your time and energy. Mm-hmm. But however, you had told what probably happened to a family member or a so-called friend that wasn't probably a real friend to begin, begin with. But this is the same individual that will say to you or say in front of other people, straight up in your face and say, well, you're just holding grudges. You're holding resentment and bitterness. Well, you need to get over it. Now, for me personally, when I hear a person that sit there and say, you're holding grudges, but that particular person does not understand that you're doing it all for the sake of protecting your energy and your peace. I say within my mind, that's just an ignorant ass motherfucker. I don't want to put it like that, but I'm just going to. That person is just ignorant and stupid of universal laws and don't even understand them. But however, whenever that you have people who go around telling you something like that, you ain't got the time, you ain't got the day to give that particular person your energy because you know within yourself that you are setting the boundaries and you're like, no more. You are the one that is protecting your peace. You are the one that is protecting your energy. But 
These ignorant ass people or that ignorant ass person cannot understand that. You know the reason why is because this particular person always go with the crowd of what they say, mainstream Christianity of what they say, and I guarantee you that they're throwing that junk down people's throats. But when a person does not understand universal law, which is God's law, they're going to be up in continual ignorance. Continual ignorance. And so, like for me, and I'm telling you, don't even waste your time with that person because you already know universal law. And they don't. Now, it's funny and amazing to me how they'll sit here and say to you, forgive and forget. Who in the world put this narrative down a lot of people's throats? Who in the world have told them this? What I say to all of you, and a lot of you going to get mad, forgive and forget is a bunch of BS. And I'm going to, and I'm just to go and make my argument with this. If you forgive and forget, how in the world are you going to learn the life lessons in order to make the boundary for yourself? How in the world are you going to know when someone else is going to come around and do the same thing again to you? If you do not forget what that previous person done and so that you will be more wiser whenever someone else come around with that same mess and you learn new ideas, how they're going to come at you or whatever with some type of drama, some type of mess, or some type of no good intention of that person being up to no good. How in the world are you going to learn all of this? And then another thing when it comes to that notion, how in the world are they going to sit here and say, forgive in the forget, but, you can't tell your story whenever that the creator of the universe tells you to tell that story so somebody else can relate to it so it can be a bridge to their healing. You see, mainstream Christianity and the crowd has gotten a lot of people messed up. They ain't teaching them what that Bible says. They're not teaching it. Because this is something that is totally new to you. A lot of you people out there. It is not our responsibility to forgive and forget. That is God's responsibility to forgive and to forget. If you need proof, go to Hebrews 8 and 12. If you need another verse, Go to Isaiah 43 and 25. How much more proof do you need, people? Are you going to listen to what the crowd say and what mainstream Christianity tell you about their doctrine of forgiveness? How long are you going to sit here and listen to that junk? How long? And then, like they say, people, I'm going to tell you, better wake up and smell the roses and stop following what the crowd or he or she say, because they'll get you messed up from the flow up. And there's a lot of people that's sitting up here. What hap whatever that, that he or she done went through, they're, they're trying to follow the notion, forgive and to, for and to forget, and it's not even working at all. And they cannot forget and cannot understand why. But, but the creator of the universe is saying, you, need, you are learning the life lesson of out of that, or whenever that the creator of the universe leads you to go tell someone else so it can lead to a bridge to their healing so that they can majorly relate to it. 
but it's just all backwards. It's just all backwards. I ain't even touched the tail of, of this doctrine of forgiveness cause a lot of you, you're going to be real mad. A lot of you. And so the hornet's nest has just fallen out. Show Leah's. But however, I ain't even touched the tail of it. I made a video. I made a podcast about it. One thing about forgiveness, I, about forgiveness, and I know a lot of people probably couldn't take that. But however, when it's all said and done, are you going to burn the midnight oil and stop listening to what the crowd and mainstream Christianity tell you? And studying research or what? It's totally up to you people. But I'm going to go on ahead and cut this video short. All of you have a great and wonderful day and evening.